at the time I was very sick. I hadn't really got into Ayurveda or known much about it. And I got caught up on this whole raw vegan diet movement thing. And I thought that was a cure to everything. Even actually, believe it or not, actually, I was on that kind of vegan raw diet prior to getting sick. The first few months leading up to being sick, I was on that raw diet. Mm. And then I got sick. I don't know. Maybe it had something to do with it. But everything was just going through me. The food just goes through you. Boom, boom. You're going to the toilet so many times. And then I tried fruit only diet, tried all of that. That was even worse. A gas beyond belief. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. It was so painful, cramping. Like it was the worst thing ever, especially things like lettuce and salads was just a nightmare for me. And I thought all this time this was good. This was meant to be doing good. Then when I read the Ayurvedic system, I discovered that actually the, the completely raw diet is terrible for vata types. The vata pitta disorders is what causes ulcerative colitis, and I'm a vata pitta mix. And it's the worst thing to go on a raw, cold food diet. So what I had to do was actually go for grounding, nourishing, warming foods, and also it says the meat is okay for people who have a vata disturbance which is what I had, I had a vatic imbalance. So I started to use bone broth because the people who had healed themselves, they went on to paleo diets. They went completely on paleo diets or they went on to complete beef diets and things like that. And I was like, this goes totally against the whole Hindu culture. Mm -hmm. My parents would go crazy, you know, but I thought I have to do this for my own health. I had no other choice. 